G'day guys, Matt here and doing a vlog about blood extrophy and mental health. Now, I'm going to be getting criticised about this probably and people are going to do comments that are going to be, but Let's just put that aside at the moment, and let's just have a serious chat. Now... Mental health with butter extrophy doesn't get really spoken about much, really, and... People are gonna say, like, put your chin up, put a smile on your face, and yes, they are true. And yes, that can happen. But there are going to be days where, like I do, it's going to be very hard to live with. And things just are out of your control. And I find it hard on days where it's just a constant battle. It's hard. It struggles. And at the moment, in my life for the last couple of years, it hasn't been good. It hasn't been great. And I know there are going to be people that are going to say I'm too negative and I need to look at a positive life. But it's hard. It's easier than said. It's easier than said, right? We try our hardest every day, every day, every day. We try and look after ourselves. We try and help each other. But it's hard, and we we struggle. And life dealt us with many troubles. And the sad thing is for me, it might not be for anybody else out there, but the sad thing for me is my mental health has taken over everything. My bladder health has dropped to the wayside. And that scares me because... What can you do, you know? We've got... I am just grateful that we've got the support that we do have. But there are days where you got the support, you know. The groups are not going to be able to help. And you've got to rely on your GP. And sometimes it can help and sometimes it can't. I find that so hard. Life will continue on. For the adults with bladder extrophy, we share a bond that everybody do, does understand. And the mental health of things, there is nothing really about that. And we need to let people know that there are going to be, some people are going to have troubles and dramas and with my PTSD, it doesn't help when you've got constant dramas happening and how the PTSD, the anxiety and the depression all overtakes everything else and then you can't focus on your physical health like blood or extra feet and that is so hard but I know that there is a light in the tunnel somewhere, and it's getting there. I'm in the bend of that tunnel, and that tunnel is still pit black. I don't want to try and scare adults, children, uh, adult, uh, parents that have blood or extra feet. It's gonna be hard, I know, and I don't want to try and make this a sad thing. But sometimes, some people, not all people, are going to struggle with the mental health. 
and mental health with blood or extrophy is difficult. And if your child or teen is struggling, some might not, some will, there is always help there. Rely on people in the groups. Please see your GP if you guys are still struggling. Kids and teens of blood or extrophy, please look after yourselves. Listen to your parents. I know it's hard. And life was... I know you want to do your things and be independent. But your parents care for you guys, alright? I know life... we all been dealt with a hard heart in life and if we all try and stick together we can try and do this but I'm finding it hard to open up to everybody and just trying to just trying to get everything back into order like it used to be is so difficult um, trying to find the right ways to explain how I feel, it is hard. And trying to get life back on the track, oh boy. I'm not, I know this is going to sound negative and all that, but mental health is important. And we need to talk about it with blood or extra feet. Um, there are going to be days where we are going to have such joy in our lives, you know, and having the smile on our faces and knowing that there are people that, that out there that care is brilliant. But we're going to have days where, like, I have that I feel like no one will want to help me. I feel like I'm in a dark place and I don't want I feel like the people don't want me and I know that's not true um but it's not you know this is raw emotion right we've got to explain to this world that we need help and I've got to learn to use all the support that's out there in this world. You guys need to learn to use the support out in this world. I know it's hard. I know we have things thrown in our lives that make it difficult. But we've got to try and look after our health. If we don't, we can get bad infections and we don't want that. And I find that trying to look after that dance side of things have just gone to the wayside and trying to focus on that, no, nah, it's hard. My mental health has just gone skyrocketing out of control and that's why I haven't been around for a long time and I am trying to make this so that people can see what, what can happen sometimes. Like I said, there are going to be days that are going to be great, fantastic, and there are going to be days where you're in a dark place and trying to break out of that circle is hard. But there's always, always going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. I know that. It's just we've got to try and focus on the positive and defocus away from negative but that is hard us humans are just we focus on things that we shouldn't and that makes it so difficult when I need to open up more to the groups and I want to try and refocus what I used to do back in the days, but 
I have lost my way and I need that to come back. I want to try and help as many people in the community as possible. I don't I know I don't want to try and make this video negative, but I know it sounds like it's coming out negative, but this is the, just what mental health can do. It's serious and it needs to be a main focus on some people's lives. Some people, I am grateful that you don't have any mental problems, and that's great. And then there are some people that's got it, and you guys and us, we can get out of this, out of this pit and into a bright light in the world. I know, I know this is going to be a hard video for people to watch. But this is reality, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, just show you what I have to go through sometimes. Everybody else is different, and be different to each person, and it's an individual thing. Sometimes it's going to be a great world, and it's going to be filled with... Everything that you know that can go forward. So let's just hope people can watch this, learn what's out there. Mental health can be a pain sometimes. And, you know, you try and look for the positives in life. And it's there. It is there. Trust me, it's there. And when we join together, let's just hope that we can stick as a big family, help one another. Let's just try and be happy and all that. If there's going to be any negative comments in this video, please do not listen to what they're going to say. They're trolls, and they're gonna be, oh, why you gotta be so negative, and blah, blah, blah. But, hey, I'm trying to be a positive person. But when mental health takes over every aspect of everything, you've gotta focus, and having bladder extrophy on top of that oh boy 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 but hey like I said let's just keep going forward let's just focus on all that's out there and let's just have a fun day you guys all rock let's be be there and Please keep in tune on my YouTube channel. I'll be posting a lot more bladder extrophy related videos coming up. Um, I want to try and spread the word as much as I can. Um, my next one, my next video, I'll make it as happy and as joyful as I can because I know I'm going to get a lot of lack, uh, a lot of back thrashing on this one, but. It's what I need to put out. This is how I feel in my gut. I need to release this out. I feel so much better. And I hope you guys can find in your hearts where I'm coming from and understand what's being said and how I am trying my best to... Um, keeping positive. Let's all be positive. Let's stay together. And let's just keep going, guys. You guys all are the best in this world. And let's stay being together. You guys are the best. See you later, guys. Bye.